Well, hey, friends, my name is Brooklyn, and this is Linda, and you're watching the Grow Curriculum Deep Dive for free VBS on the case from Grow Kids. Uh, For the next few minutes, we're going to give you a big picture overview of what you can expect during this VBS, so you can be better prepared for running it in your own ministry context. But we're also going to take an in-depth look at some of the specifics that you might miss or overlook, so we just want to make sure that you have them highlighted and ready to go before you get started. Whether or not you're a Grow user, this resource is free for everyone. So don't be shy. Go check it out, download it, and see how you might want to use some or all of it this summer or whenever you'd like. So what we're going to do right now in this deep dive is we're going to first give you an overview of all the things you're going to be teaching in On The Case VBS. And then we're going to look at the theme and talk a little bit about the decorating elements. And then we're going to look at the structure and how you might want to format On The Case VBS for your ministry. And lastly, we're going to close it up with some tips and just some fun things to help you take On The Case to the next level. Every summer, our VBS is built on the four spiritual habits from GROW, which are spend time with God, spend time with others, use your gifts, and share your story. This time with On the Case, we'll be talking about these habits and learning from the parables of Jesus. You know, Jesus often used metaphors like these parables to teach and to to share, and really only those paying close attention would be able to surmise what Jesus was really talking about. So that's what our hope is, is to get kids to do this every day, to think about what is Jesus really talking about here. And so this is how it's going to work. On day one, we're going to look at the parable of the sower in Luke chapter eight, and kids will hear about how the seeds that the farmer planted fared in the different types of soil, and it was only the seed that was planted in the good soil that thrived. So that's why the first big idea for day one is spending time with God is how we grow. Yeah. And day two, we're going to look at the parable of the bags of gold or talents um, that you find in Matthew 25 and how everyone has the abilities and resources to do something for God. So day two's big idea is using our gifts is how we serve. And that brings us to day three, where we're going to look at the parable of the Good Samaritan from Luke chapter 10. And kids will see in the story that the Samaritan man, and he just took the time to take care of an injured stranger. And so this story will help them to think about how the kids themselves can pause and pay attention to their friends and family too. So that's why the big idea here is spending time with others is how we care. Yes. And then finally, on day four, we're going to go to Luke chapter 15 to learn about the parables of the lost sheep, coin, and son. So in each of these parables, we're going to find the owner or the father rejoicing and inviting others to celebrate them when something or someone that has been lost is found. So it reminds us that when we have good news, good news like knowing Jesus, we should share it with others. Which is why the big idea for day four is sharing our story is how we love. And our memory verse for On the Case is also on theme. It comes from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4. In reading this, then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. Okay, let's talk about the theme. This is my favorite part. (laughs) The decorating theme for this year's VBS is mystery because we're talking about the mysterious meaning of Jesus' parables. So there are so many ways that you can run this theme. We're excited to see what you all end up doing with it, Um, but we're going to give you some ideas. For example, you can borrow from icons like Sherlock Holmes, Carmen Sandiego, Pink Panther, if you're really old school, or you can play up the more modern secret agent vibes. So Linda, which one, which one is your favorite? I personally really like the whole old timey private eye look. So (laughs) I am going to suggest that you do that aesthetic because I think there are just so many more fun decorating elements that come with Mm -hmm. that that you can play around with. Like for instance, you might want to think about trans 
transforming your space into like that detective's office, the desk with like files everywhere, file cabinets, uh, the cork board with the photos and the string and the pins, um, a desk lamp, typewriter, a rotary phone, if you can find one. I yeah. think also <laughs> in addition to that, a fun touch would be to put a door, even if it's not a real door, you can make a door uh, with the silhouettes on that kind of like frosted glass to give it that like film noir look. And also you can't go wrong with putting footprint stickers everywhere, like on the walls and on the floors to have kids chase the clues and the footprints. And also the little things matter too when it comes to decorating. So you might want to encourage your leaders to dress up like old timey detectives, you know, like the suspenders and like the caps and things, or you can have them dress up like characters from Clue. Um, make sure you have plenty of magnifying glasses to go around for kids to play around with and carry around as their own little detective prop. And also speaking of props, you might want to have some photo booth props because, you know, that are on theme because people love yes. taking photos, Definitely. especially of their kids. <laughs> Um, and lastly, you might want to provide some invisible ink pens and detective notepads that you can use as gifts or just have them used throughout VBS and have them just scribble things down and pretend they're collecting clues. And all of this you can find in our programming guide, which has links to our Pinterest board and is just chock full of more snack ideas, craft ideas, and other items you might want to purchase or make. So make sure you check that out. Next up, we're going to give you a look at the structure of this VBS. If you're familiar with GROW, you'll notice that the format is very similar to how we structure our year-round curriculum. We have three main sections. This is what they are. The first section is the what section. This is when we ask the question, what are we talking about today? So you'll set up in the introduction of the Bible story and the big idea in this section. It's just really getting kids curious about what we're going to be talking about. The second section is the so what section. Why does it matter to God and why does it matter to us? Um, this is where the bulk of the teaching happens and you really kind of dig in to see like what is God saying um, about this thing that we're talking about and why should it matter? And then finally, the now what section. This is a question that we ask, what does God want us to do about it? So this is where the application is going to happen for all of your kids and they'll really get to digest what they learned um, in this section. So inside of each one of these sections, this is an important part, um, are, there's a whole bunch of different modules. So if you're familiar with GROW, you might know what some of these are, but if you're not, I'll give you an idea of what some of those look like. Um, these are things like activities, object lessons, polls, reflection, and you are more than free to move these around to wherever you think. I invite you to kind of customize, create, delete, add some new things so that everything you have going on in your VBS is really fitting well with the vision for your ministry, the kind of kids in your ministry, the time frame you have, um, all of that good stuff. So yeah. And you know, if you don't want to really think about it, because seriously, who has the time for that nowadays? We've done a lot of the work for you. And you can find our suggested schedules for full day and half day VBS programs. And you'll find that located in your planning resources folders. So here's what a typical VBS day might look like. Um, you might want to kick things off off with a of course, you want to set up for the day and do a quick volunteer huddle with everyone who'll be helping out that day just to kind of orient them, give them some breakfast and just encourage them and say, we're going to have the best day ever. Um, and then as uh, parents come in to drop off their kids, of course, you want to have a check-in station and have plenty of volunteers working that as well. So it doesn't kind of bottleneck there. Um, but one thing we tend to forget is that we're so worried and just so preoccupied with registering and getting all the name tags and forms and things that um, a lot of kids come early. Early and they have nothing to do. So we suggest make sure you have some lawn games, board games, or turn on a movie or have extra volunteers ready to play with the kids, um, all the early birds. Um, so that'll be really helpful to keep them entertained. And also it will make just parents feel so much better about dropping off their kids and then taking off. <laughs> Um, and you're going to kick off the program with the what section, like Brooklyn was describing. Um, this is where all of the icebreakers and fun little teaser activities are happening, like lots of active stuff. Um, and then, um, of course, this is also where worship happens. So we're going to hype them up for on the case VBS. 
And then we'll transition into the so what section, which is where they learn the Bible story, the big idea is revealed to them, and they learn a little bit more about what the parable means and what the big idea means. Um, and then we suggest taking a break here, um, especially if it's a full day program, you might want to provide lunch or have kids bring their own lunch. I don't know how you want to do it. Um, but in addition to lunch, we also recommend having these PlayStations. And no, I don't mean a PlayStation, also that would be cool if you can. Um, kids would love that, but who has the budget for that? Um, so have these uh, free play kind of areas that you can set up that you can, we give eight different ideas. You don't have to do all eight in a day. You can do maybe like four and then have kids rotate around however they like. This is great because it has minimal supervision and kids can kind of just play however they feel, go at their own pace. And so your leaders get a little bit of a break too during this time. And then you want to close out your program with the now what section, which is where kids will have a chance to make a fun themed snack. They'll make crafts, they'll learn the memory verse and do more application type activities like response and reflection and discussion questions and things like that. Um, and then after all the families come to pick up their children, uh, you'll probably want to do some cleanup and make sure to always include a volunteer debrief so you can talk with your volunteers about how they think the day went and if there's anything you need to address for the next day's program. Yes. And for those of you who would prefer to have rotating stations, um, you can easily customize what we provide and make it work for you. So you can use our lesson builder tool to help you reorganize the content in the order you want. So you, it's like Legos. You can just kind of go online, take a look at everything that's there together with your team or some other creative people that are supporting your ministry. And you can literally drag and drop things over um, to only see the things you're going to be using. And you can even create modules of your own to add things that you're going to be adding that you've created to supplement the material. So I think you'll love the lesson builder tool. I just wanted to remind everybody that that's there for you so that you can customize everything um, for your ministry. Yeah, and it's super easy to use. So for example, if you did want to do stations, you can probably separate it out into like large group time and have craft stations, game stations, Bible stories stations, maybe like a discussion station or like a sharing station. Um, and then just kind of drag and drop the modules you want associated with each of those stations. And um, it's going to be really easy for you to do. I mean, you can put things like music into the large group welcome and you can like watching the teaching video into like the large group things. And then there's like little crafts and snacks that you can put into all the individual stations, which would be really easy to set up. And if you do, if you want more help with that, we are here for you. Feel free to reach out and somebody on our team will be there to help you. Most likely it'll be Kelly, our lead strategist, who is an expert at BBS. She helped write the first two that we released. And so she knows all about it. She's a Kidman Kidman hero. And so she will help you figure it all out. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. And, and now that we've covered the overview and the theme and the structure of VBS, um, we just got a few miscellaneous tips to help you make the most of on the case. So let's go with tip number one, Linda, what do you got for us? Okay, the first tip for you, it might not sound like a tip, but it is, it's to make it a five-day VBS. And now some of you are like, we already do a five-day VBS, mm -hmm. and I totally get that. But On The Case VBS um, is a four-day teaching VBS, so all of the teaching spans only for the first four days. Um, but we do know that some of you do want to do a five-day program. So if you do, uh, we suggest making that last day into something more like a fun mini event. Um, I mean, if you want to make it a full day, of teaching, you totally can. And so, you know, again, customizable, right? Um, but if you do go the mini event route, um, here are some suggestions for you. Um, you can do a mystery hunt. Um, so if you're available to go on a day trip with your kids and families and get some chaperones, um, you can start the day by doing a little scavenger hunt and giving kids clues on where you're going to go. Or um, you can actually do a scavenger hunt on location. So whether it's a museum, a theme park, or just around town somewhere, you can make a little checklist of things of for kids to like spot. Um, those are really fun. So it's like they're collecting clues, right? So it's on theme as well. Um, another thing that I personally would really, really enjoy is a mystery board game night or game day. 
however have you. Um, you can get all the mystery <laughs> board games um, and like Clue, or Clue Junior. Don't don't forget the littles. Um, <laughs> Deception, Sleuth, Outfox, Code Names, and just um, set up these games and have people just roam around and play with whoever they like, however they like. Maybe you want to set up some timers so people don't monopolize one game because I I mean Code Names I can play all night long. <laughs> so um, this will be a really great way for families to come and spend time together. Um, we also suggest this like Mission Impossible kind of thing uh, where you do like obstacle courses, relay races, just a lot of like outdoor or indoor, just lots of high energy type of games. Um, so this will be on theme in the way it's kind of like spy training, I guess. <laughs> so that'll be really fun. And lastly, we also recommend a mystery dinner theater. Um, this will be a great way to get family members involved and maybe they can be actors or servers and just put on a whole show your kids will love it and it'll just be a really fun way for you to wrap up on the case vbs yes and don't forget if you're having ideas while you're watching this that there are people all over the world that are going to be using the cbs brainstorm in the comments exchange ideas because this is you know kind of a beautiful base for you to resource each other and customize something that works for you. So don't forget to help each other out because I know all of you are having the most creative ideas. Um, you're the heroes that are doing this stuff in the churches. So make sure you share what you're thinking. It would help so many other people as you do that. All right. So tip number two, we want you to check out the original song. So every time we've gotten you know around the table to brainstorm vbs we think what could this song be like and the mystery theme just lent to this incredible jazz meets pink panther meets carmen san diego kind of vibe and it is so cool um we loved getting to work with some really talented um songwriters musicians choreographers and dancers to bring you this song but it's i mean that's awesome and we're so glad but really what's amazing about it is this song if the kids sing it learn it get familiar with it they're really getting to solve the mystery every time they dance so or every time they sing because the song delivers the mysteries the big ideas like or how we basically basically get to know God and grow. So we hope you'll check it out because it's really kind of the secret. Um, it's the mystery under the mystery. <laughs> it's the secret to VBS. Um, if you play this song, teach the kids this song, they'll remember the messages and the big ideas from every single week a little bit better. So we hope you'll check it out and have fun. And also, if you want to record yourself learning these with kids or you have some kids who really, really latch on to the choreography and they love it, please, please, please share those things with us because we want to see them. We want to share them and inspire other people too. Cause when I'm starting to do great things Everybody, we are on the case Let's chase the clues and solve the mystery Everybody, we are on the case Oh, 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 oh Absolutely, this would make a really good TikTok reel Just saying oh, yeah. <laughs> viral no. let's do it let's Get take his ministry it. like to another level guys Absolutely. let's go it's super catchy <laughs> and i think even your too cool for sunday school preteens are gonna love this song mm -hmm. i know i sure. did i mean but i mean i'm basically 11 so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and speaking of the song, that's just one tiny little part of all of the goodies that we provide in this On The Case VBS. So our third tip to you is to get familiar with all of the resources. Like seriously, dig in, open up all of those folders and mm -hmm. subfolders, and you'll find that there is just so much more to unlock. Um, so in addition to this wonderfully choreographed and recorded video. We also provide just a plain lyric video. We have lyrics, we have sheet music for those of you who want to maybe create the acoustic version of this theme song. That'd be really cool to hear. Please yes. send, us, send it to us if you make it. Um, <laughs> not only that, we have memory verse sign language. And so this is a wonderful way for kids to remember the memory verse for VBS. And also it's, it helps you be inclusive of kids who do regularly use sign language mm -hmm. as their language. Um, we also provide t-shirt designs and a ton of graphics in all different kinds of formats for you to use to make flyers and social media posts. Um, we have, like we mentioned earlier, we have the suggested schedules. We have planning timelines, how to guide if this is your first time doing VBS. And now I'm just listing things, but seriously, they're just so good. There's just so much stuff in there. And if you think we're missing anything, please let us know. We'll probably make it because we love you guys and we want to make you happy. 
We also have a ton of really cool printables. We have, for the first time ever, elementary and preschool coloring pages. And we have, um, speaking of preschool, we have hacks for preschoolers, kids with special needs, and Mm -hmm. preteens. So go in and check it out. And I I promise you will love it. Yes, 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 you will. And honestly, we're we're just here as guides, like to help you heroes out. Um, we have, I think this is our third time creating this resource, and every time we are learning more and more from you, from everyone who is leading, who are leading kids and leading kids ministry leaders. Thank you so much for what you do. Um, just over three years ago, when we were like, we should make a free VBS, it wasn't because we wanted to do like this awesome thing. It's because we really heard the need for it. And I felt the need for it too. I'm a church planter and we have no kids ministry budget. And this is just like such a huge blessing to have this every year and to be able to not have to spend money on this curriculum, but to be able to spend money on some other things that will support our ministry and help it grow. So we hope that this thing is a huge, huge blessing to you. Thank you for being a blessing to others. Don't forget to check out all of the other resources that we provided because remember, it's zero dollars. So if you have friends or ministry leaders or other people who run programs for kids, let them know where they can find this because we really want them to take it and we really want them to use it so that kids can grow and to know how much God loves them and how much like their lives can be changed by Jesus. So check it out. While you're doing your planning for On the Case, let us know if you have any questions. Share your thoughts and ideas with us. You can always tag us on all the social media platforms. Everyone is going to benefit from the things you share. So thank you for doing that. You're our heroes. And thanks so much for hanging out with us today. It was super fun. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.